Hi, my name is Ryan Serhan, real estate broker. This is Michael Stern of JDS reporting from the top of the world, AKA 111 West 57th Street. Brought my vlog crew and Casey Neistat. Kind of part of the vlog crew today. Kind of part of the vlog crew. Yep. What do you guys pay? And they're not great. Not well. <laughs> and there's the park. Do you know where Casey is? No idea. I will text him, dude. Uh, so I'm meeting Casey Neistat and we're going to take him on the most epic property tour ever, except he's late. Yeah. Oh dude, maybe he's just on a skateboard and he got stuck in traffic Probably. or like got stopped by cops or something. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just see him coming down Broadway. Where is this guy? Yo! What? Have you been outside this whole time? Yeah, we're late. Dude, no, we're, I told you we're late. I'm texting you the whole time. Unbelievable. Un just on a skateboard. Don't, all right, don't move. Don't move. We're late. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Um, I'm going up to 57th Street with Casey. I'll be back, okay? I found him. He's outside. Can't wait for this. Take the stairs. Let's go. Because if he leaves, and then I'm not going to get up there, and like a good broker, I will literally do whatever I can for my clients. So we got to go. I can't believe he's just been sitting out there this entire time. You think there's room for two on the skateboard? So fancy. Thanks for making it. All right, so you want to stand in the back or you want to stand in the front? Of the skateboard? Yeah, we got room here. I can't take this with you at the same time. You want to take this to 57th Street? That's what I thought. I have my own skateboard. We'll get in the car. I have my own skateboard. He's right over here. Welcome to my car. This is my skateboard. This is your chariot? This is how you get around? Yeah, this is how I get around. I can't skateboard and be on the phone selling real estate. I would, li I would literally die. I would just die. You know, I think don't bash it until you try it. So, um, did you think YouTube was going to be at the place it is now when you started? Do you get that question all the time? Um... I don't get that question all the time. I, like, did you think real estate brokers would be yeah, using yeah. it? I think real estate uniquely um, should be leveraging not just social media, but YouTube in particular. Sure. Because when you're buying a house, you want to know two things. You want to like see and feel what it is actually like to be inside of a property. Yeah. And you want to see and feel what the person is like who's going to be selling you that property right. and those two pieces of information can only be understood through uh, physically meeting someone or video sure and you can't scale physically meeting someone yeah but you can scale video. you can scale video yeah. there's a sense of trust on YouTube that doesn't really exist anywhere else in media yeah where you just you you've been come so preconditioned to expect the kid sitting at the edge of his tape of his bed yeah. in his parents bedroom saying what's up guys to camera yeah, yeah. That it doesn't matter really matter what you're seeing. I, you have an inherent willingness to trust what you're seeing on YouTube in a way that I think is met with skepticism on traditional television. Sure. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean it just to rewrite history, cause I'm in the mood to label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school. This ain't for the radio, can't find this on YouTube. This the type of killing that these critics say used to. Victorious. How was the flight? Uh, it was brutal. Hey, yes. Michael. This is Michael Stern of JDS, so he is the developer of the building. Very nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Excited about this. Excited too. Let's go straight up and then figure it out from there. Look, I could be a funny guy, but I ain't no joke. I'm in the junk as well as a bee. They calling me underground. But wait for the switch up, man. I'm coming up like the trees. And Brody don't understand. Yeah, I know speak is fine, but maybe that's just what you need. Corte a royal man. The rain's coming back and throwing hands and catching Z's. Uh oh my goodness, I don't get it. Everybody's sleeping on the thousand people working here every day. What's the top floor that we'll go to? 91. I don't know if you can hear that, but we're gonna go to 91. 
So today is the last day of pouring concrete for the building. That's correct. And it all gets pumped up through that, that pipe correct. All the way to up. over 1,400 feet in the air, which is crazy. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's go. I think we lost Casey. Don't afraid of heights, right? No, except for Adrian. Adrian's afraid of heights. I'm going to call that a miracle. I'm going to call it like it is. Call me corny, buddy lives. I was the kid in the back of the building, cause up in the front smell like bullies. Now I'm on a different scene. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could live this high up. Why not? Why? You're Casey Neistat, you can live this high up. It, it doesn't feel like you're on planet Earth Dude, when you're you up here. You can actually see like the curvature of Manhattan right now. That's pretty cool. I do not want nothing, this is all for God. This is the last floor that we can stand on that isn't mechanical. Sure. Um, we can get all the way to the top top. It, it does require some climbing some ladders. Not for the faint of heart. I don't know if you have your construction outfit on today. That's it. Born to walk on rebar. Ryan has his snakeskin rebar shoes on, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go up where we can all see right, some unobstructed. John will follow you, Lee. Yeah, working on it. So a sellout of nearly $2 billion tops off at 1,400 and... 31 feet. 1,431 feet. And we can go further up? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Y'all done got me messed up. I'm not here for rap. I do not want nothing. This is off for God. So what you're looking at here is an 800 ton. This is a massive, weight. this is a massive weight. Some of the other, I mean, look how small the price of is. Yeah. Little baby. Baby size. Little baby. Crazy. All right. Shall we? Keep moving. Yeah, okay. You okay? You freaking out? Me? I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. I'm great-ish. Concrete. Right now we're at the top of 111 West 57th Street. It's, it's unreal. You can see every, you can literally see the earth curve up here and you're putting John's shoes in the concrete, right? There he is right there. John, say hi, show him your boots. That is a process. What's that? Just this hole, pouring all the cement up here. Crazy. Like they just pump that shit up. Yeah, let's get here. 14,000 PSI concrete, some of the strongest concrete. Is that right? That's it. How does that guy get into the crane? He's got to take the ladder the whole way. No, we t he, goes he takes to the, the elevator. Crane tie. There's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Catwalk that comes and then gets out and crawls the up. Last couple hundred feet, he's hooking it up. Got it. Crazy. What's the facade made out of? The facade in this building is made of terracotta and bronze. Terracotta and bronze. We'll show it to you a little bit up close. It's really incredible. It's something we're very yeah. <laughs> Careful, hoisting up the American flag at the top of 111 West 57th Street, vlogging. So we're now going to go down and show Casey one of the duplexes uh, asking $58 million. We just saw the American flag go up. There's a guy in the crane who has to pee in a bottle because he lives up there all day long. They're installing the last bit of concrete. They're putting John's boots in the concrete. And this is the guy crazy enough to build the whole thing. Definitely crazy. So while Casey over here is taking some photos, uh, we are moving our way down from the 91st floor. This is the damper, which is an 800 ton piece. Hello. Come on through. Sorry I'm in the way from you building your building. Oh, we're gonna get yelled at here. That's crazy. How's the ceiling height, Ryan? Oh, this doesn't suck. This is gonna be a ceiling height. So double height duplex, this is a living room. That's the view with the park as your carpet. You're welcome, Matt. Yeah, you guys, you're welcome, Matt. Crazy. So this is the duplex, $58 million. We are 60 feet on the park. That's the park, show them the park. 
Yep. 60 feet of glass, 28 foot ceilings. Look at that. That is just crazy. Five bedrooms, 58 million or 60? Sounds about right. There's a lot of apartments. 7,000 square feet. Interior stairwell is on the, other, oh, in the middle. So this is where you're gonna put your bedroom. So this would be your view. I'm trying to sell Casey this apartment right now. Sold. Sold? Well, you're gonna have to get that number down a little bit. Yeah, everyone's, you always gotta haggle, man. You always gotta haggle. Yeah. So this is your view looking south with every major landmark. Your living room with the double height ceilings is looking north over the park. And Central Park is your welcome mat. That's how you have to look at it. Look how small the cabs look. What floor is this? We are on the 64th floor? 61st. Lots of floors. Like these are the views, but you're, this is halfway up, right? That's how insane it is. The inspiration to do the building was to bend the mind from the man who's building it. Well, really to push what's possible. Yeah. Yeah, so what, between the first... Uh, Started assembling the site the better part of 10 plus years ago. Yeah. And is that, is that on par? Is that yeah. about what it takes These to build These major a... assemblages in New York, they take uh, on average 10 years to assemble the sites and then another four or five years to build them. Got it. Giovanni, yeah. you But how old were you when you started assembling the sites here? Uh, how old was I? About 30. 30. 30, 30, 30 years you know old. What this, you know what this city needs? Fucking 1,500 foot tower. That's what this fucking city needs. <laughs> <laughs> That's 30. This is important to remember. on the renderer's part. That was uh, 111 West 57th Street. I mean, it's changing the New York City skyline. What do you think? Do you want one? Okay, I don't know nothing about no $60 million apartments, but that was amazing. Was it cool? That was amazing. I would say Purdue was cool for me. I mean, I've like, I've never been up that high on the top as they're pouring the last little bit of concrete, the American flag going up at the same time. Very romantic. Insane. Very, very Iwo Jima. Real estate could be a beautiful thing. I just, I'm, I'm hung up on what it would be like to live at that altitude. Yeah. I mean, I, it's like living in an airplane. It's like living in an airplane. Living in an airplane. Cool, man. Thank you. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. This is a blast. I'll see you around. Go be on. safe on your skateboard. I've got to go run and sell something else. Are you good? Yeah, I'll let you know about making an offer on the uh, penthouse. Is that joke still funny? No. No. Appreciate it. All right, see you. So I'm going to sell something else. I'll see you later. Victorious. 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 In this day and age, I got time for innovation. Time to be creative. Time to big the world. Logs over. That's it. Sorry. But you can still watch more. Maybe you can watch this one. Maybe you can watch this one. See, this one's pretty good. You should watch this one. Actually, you know what? This one seems pretty great. You should definitely watch this one. Actually, this one seems pretty good. Maybe you can watch both of them at the same time. Maybe try clicking like both.